Hi everyone, we are from group one and we are going to discuss about definition, scope, and history of biopesticide. But first thing first, let me introduce myself and our group member. My name is Karistia Jayanirwana with student number 234. There is Farika Aritama Pujarini with student number 60, Ilham Artimas Priyantama with student number 111, and Muhammad Arisetio with student number 149. Next. For the background, as we know that pests and pathogens cause crop loss and reduce yield quality, so it needs to be controlled. But nowadays, the use of chemical pesticides for pest control is still widely practiced because it can uh, control pests and disease more quick. But when we use chemical pesticides in a long term, it can uh, make pest resistance to pesticides, negative effect on non-target organism, and also uh, can make a negative effects on human health and ecosystem balance. So we need to uh, look for pest control agents that effective uh, to control various kinds of pests maximally without causing negative impact on plant and the environment. Next. About the definition of biopesticides, biopesticides is substances derived from living things like plants, animals, or organisms which can inhibit growth and development or kill pests or disease-causing organisms. Biopesticides as organic compounds and antagonistic microbes that inhibit or kill plant pests and diseases. Biopesticides have organic compounds that are easily degraded in nature. Biological pesticides is one of a kind of pesticides that in environmentally friendly because they have an impact on plants for a certain period of time and easy to degrade in the nature. And, and then the residue is quickly lost, doesn't pollute the environment and is safe for living things. Next. Okay, general function of your pesticide. Number one, for minimize the presence of insects in plants. Number two, minimize insect and aid in plants to have been given pesticide to the degraded taste. Uh, and next, private insect or like age, toxic the nervous system, disrupt the hormone system in insect body, attracting insect to insect tribe, controlling the growth of fungi and bacteria which are resistant to plants. Uh, and classification of your pesticide is on how it works. Number one, replace. Minimize the person, uh, person of insect, for example, because of very strong. Uh, number two, antifidians. Minimize or reduce insect plants that have been given vegetable pesticide in a vegetable and nerve uh, and can be toxic disrupt of hormone system in insect body. Number three, attractant. Something to attract insect, so it use uh, also solution tribe insect and prevent the occlusion growth of fungi and bacteria. Number four, vegetable pesticide, reducing the prevent for insect in access for food source. Okay. Okay. Next about the advantage of biopesticide. Uh, the first one is quietly decomposes due to sunlight, air, humidity, or other natural components. Second one is residue risk on crop yields too low. Toxi toxicity in mammals, mammals is generally low, so it's safe for human and livestock. Third one is high selectivity because biological pesticides have a spectrum extensive control. And the last one is low toxicity toxicity so that the potential for damaging plant is low. Next. And the next one is weakness of biopesticide. Uh, first one is slowly workability resulting for spraying. Second one is doesn't kill pests directly but will reduce appetite for pests so the pests will die slowly. 
or just repels or make the pest unwilling again eating plants that have been sprayed with biological pesticide. Third one is easily damaged and easily decomposed if exposed to sunlight. Fourth one is cannot store for a long time so it's necessary use after completion and becomes an obstacle to trade to the public. And the last one is need to be applied regularly so that is not too efficient in terms of economics. Next. The next is the history of biopesticide. The history record actually been practiced since the three centuries ago. In 1990, a farmer in France used the pest tobacco leaf to control the pest of ladybug on peaches. In the early 1700s, an herbalist and botanist John Parkinson used the natural pesticide. It made from mixture of vinegar, cow dung, and the cow urine. The mixture is all John used in, in eradicating plant pests in his garden. Since then, many plant experts have used natural or organic pesticides to control the pest. In 1800, the powder of P. retum plant was used to control the aphid. The use of biological pesticides can not only reduce the environmental pollution, but also cheaper than chemical pesticides. Next. Uh, conclusion, Bio biological pesticide was used to replace synthetic pesticides that differ from living organism and the en environment. It defined as to then deprive from living things like plants, animal, or microorganism, which can inhibit growth of development or kill pests or disease causing organism. There are general functions of the various ways to keep work. Allow that have some advantage and weakness. Biopesticides were applied in 1690 and the beginning of 1700 of discovery of John Parkinson was triggered to use of biopesticides. Uh, next. Okay, thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please write down in the WhatsApp group.